our cities are centers of innovation, where minds and machines work together to develop new game-changing technologies. The challenge is how to create the right collaborative environment to encourage that creativity. We want to um, um, practice a way of doing research that allows the different community of researchers coming from different dis disciplines to really work seamlessly together. Because the most interesting space in research today is where disciplines intersect. Cities are also intersections, crossroads of cultures and centres of exchange. Here in Singapore, that inherent diversity is increasingly exploited in the field of high-tech research and development. We're no longer in a kind of research environment that would revolve around a specific skill like physics, and we're going into areas that require the interaction of lots of different specialist skills instead. French defence aerospace and security company Talis took just such a multidisciplinary approach to produce this command and control centre system. Researchers in ergonomics, physiology, mathematics and information technology all worked on the project at the firm's Singapore base. That collaborative approach is essential in developing effective tools in the information age. What's clear is that we're seeing an explosion in the volume of data that's being received. And so more and more you have to work on making sure usable information comes out of this data because there are always humans at the end of the line. For human beings, read diversity. A diversity of cultures, knowledge, skills and experiences. Finding the right route to make the most of the talent and diversity in a major city isn't always straightforward. We bring people from all around the world to work with the... Uh, local community, we propound this uh, whole concept of being very seamless in the integration in people having to collaborate. But uh, we also have to be realistic that, you know, um, at the end, humans are humans. There are behavioural aspects to uh, human organisation. There are tough issues. Getting people to see the benefits in collaborating and cooperating, that takes more time. This research centre in the heart of Singapore was built to encourage that kind of collaboration and cooperation. The centre is home to media, science, engineering and IT companies. Among them, HP Labs, who use the city as a testbed for new applications in social media and cloud computing. Everything is going to be on the cloud. Um, PCs and notebooks are going to be very, very thin and uh, a lot of services are going to be on the back-end side. I think where it makes a huge impact is the type of business, small, medium enterprise business that is going to go on the cloud. The impedance of uh, cost to just start a business has dropped tremendously and there's more creativity that's been generated out there. Cloud computing is one of the forces changing the face of innovation in the high-tech world and how we work. Cloud computing is going to change the way people operate in the city completely, and Singapore is an ideal location for showing that off. In HP Lab Singapore, we practice, you know, well, it's up to you, whatever time, a very flexible timing, and the main thing is get your work done, and you can work from remote as well. While advances like cloud computing have their impact, finding the right focus and selecting the right projects to develop demands a clear vision. Research communities around the world, they are by and large working along the same trend. You can pick up almost any single R&D master plan or document in leading uh, research hub around the world and they'll look very and read very similar. But to find that niche position whereby you have natural advantages, that takes a lot of soul searching and that takes a lot of insight about your own capabilities. Flexible working, multidisciplinary projects, diverse cultures and skills, that's the recipe for innovation in the cities of tomorrow. <laughs>